I didn't really realize how big of an impact Top Gun has on pop culture and <laughs> humankind until I got the role and I started seeing it everywhere and everyone was saying like, everyone who hears about it is like, don't mess this up. Please don't mess this up. Like this is, and uh, everyone is incredibly passionate about it and ha has this like personal attachment to it. Like they, it, it feels like theirs. That's what's so cool about the movie, the original is, is it, it feels personal to everyone and everyone has a real attachment to it in a, in a, in a very intimate sense. Um, and so I didn't quite realize the power that, and, and the legacy that it had until, until I signed up and I got on the saddle. The ante, I'm pretty sure, is being so upped that it will not be able to be upped again. Um, I d didn't know so much about this world walking into it, and I certainly have never ever seen any of the, anything like the footage that has been gotten thus far. Um, all the flight footage is totally unlike anything I've ever seen. Um, and I think because everyone is very similar to the sentiment of, the, of, of Top Gun, the movie itself, Everyone on this movie is trying to better beat themselves. We, I think, are providing the audiences w with the closest possible opportunity to be sitting in those cockpits because you're seeing our faces be pulled down by G's and you can't help but watch that and feel that. You feel, you feel the weight and you feel the aggressiveness of the maneuvers and you you are instantly you're sitting in the in the cockpit and you're strapped in it's it's kind of something that you can't really replicate with CGI you just simply can't you, you can't fake it there were so many moments throughout this process where I was like oh I didn't realize that was happening um, I think I honestly and I can say this now because we've shot pretty much the entire movie I'm scared of heights. Um, and that was something I didn't really reveal um, because I wanted to be in this movie so badly. Um, and so in some ways I got an incredible experience, not only for the obvious reasons, but also because I got to overcome this fear. Um, and I got to kind of transform and really conquer this. I thought I was like, I'm gonna either have to quit or get fired so many times because I was like, this is petrifying. And it's like, at all sorts of anxiety is coming up and everything, but the more, I'm, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't have been able to do it without Tom's training. So because we got exposed to it time and time again, eventually it becomes not normal, but a little more comfortable. I think Tom created this aviation training um, very generously because he knew that this is what he wished he had on the first one. Um, I think he went into the first one, uh, everyone did, uh, ill-prepared, um, and he, he, Tom knows what it takes and what, what um, should, better than anybody, like what kind of training is needed to get actors comfortable in these situations with these kind of, in these en environments as fast as possible so that they can do the acting that they need to do, but that, that there isn't an overload of information. Um, and so I, I don't think it, we, we could have done it without the training. I think Tom was on point by, by doing that. And um, I, I personally couldn't have ever done it without the training. <laughs> Bob is a wizzo. Um, he's the backseater to Monica Barbaro's character, Phoenix. Um, and he is kind of a quiet guy. Um, bit reserved, you know, doesn't drink, doesn't swear, really, really highly intelligent, um, but maybe a little on the socially awkward side of things. Um, and uh, I'm, I feel really lucky to play Bob because I think uh, Wizzos are a highly underappreciated uh, part of the Navy. I think Joe is an extremely uh, clean and stylish um, director. He has extreme, extremely good sense of, of aesthetics um, and can make these absolutely gorgeous and pristinely aesthetic masterpieces and that are, that have his, uh, like his print on them, his imprint. Um, and 
I, that's what we're getting with this movie. So in some ways, he's definitely doing justice to the aesthetic of the original and the cool kind of 80s rock and roll um, vibes, but also giving it this totally crisp, um, clean, and cool, like the epitome of cool, uh, just like blanket around it that, that I think only Joseph Kaczynski can really do. I think having Jerry a part of this one is uh, it, it couldn't happen without him. He's it's like it's like it's like a family, and I think he is you know at the helm of it, and it has to move if it's moving forward. It has to be you know he he's a legend, and so and this is like his was one of his many babies, and it was uh, when I when I think of Topkin, I think of Jerry Bruckheimer. When I think of Jerry Bruckheimer, I think of Topkin. Um, and so having him on set all every day, you know, remembering and bringing his experience with the first one to this one um, and tying all these threads together and, and just keeping the continuity of the world um, flowing from the first to the second was, was Jerry's specialty. What is Tom not bringing to Top Gun Maverick? He is like... He is very much the the nucleus of this thing, and he, I think, is bringing his extremely extensive knowledge and library of experience from all these movies that are highly successful and highly entertaining to this movie. And it's kind of he's you know, the pinnacle of all of this, all of this stuff that he's learned, and he's and he's also uh, amazingly uh, eager to share that with with us we've been so lucky that he is like very earnestly wants to pass this extremely valuable and rare knowledge onto us um and put it into a, a movie um and and so top gun is getting this this it's like you know the bottleneck of of all of tom cruise's knowledge and about filmmaking and about making a good fun entertaining and dramatic movie I think ideally people are going to walk out of this movie feeling like they stepped foot in an F-18 and they went for a joyride. And, um, and I think, I think it's going to be, I, I think, I think it's going to do that.